Brandy posted that it's a reference track that then came out. I'm single for uh, yeah, I'm Lil single. Wayne's I'm single. That surprise anybody? Did you hear that? I was about to say, yeah, I been knew that though. Did y'all been knew that? I ain't know it was the reference track. You know who wrote it? I heard Drake wrote it. Oh. This so it was okay? Got, this nigga got inside information. Come on, man. Mm. Hey, come on. <laughs> is mm. what okay? That's a song they singing. Y'all pick and choose who is, who is okay to have ghostwriters or Ooh. not. Listen, I'm man, not listen. against Drake having Hold a on. ghostwriter. Hold on. All I want to say is why is all these, and why and how was all these ghostwriters fucking their money up and revealing their motherfucking shit? Yeah, this so wait, y'all cool with rappers having ghostwriters? What do it affect me? I, I write my own shit. That's what I'm saying. I feel a like a little bit as, of his. It's me being. Bro, stop. I didn't even yeah, point it to you. I didn't even point it to you. It don't matter. Who else on camera right now? I'm starting to really. Stop fucking playing, bro. Stop. Uh, For real, bro. All right. Um, mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> hey, Chuck. Oh, shoot. You going to have to clean that up. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Y'all could with ghost writers, too. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, what does Drake having a ghost writer change about the music if i enjoy the music i don't know i just feel like with me being a former artist i don't play that shit all right so <laughs> and i remember people especially men used to be like did you write this yeah i wrote this shit don't nobody write none i mean of my so listen and you're supposed to take just, pride that's the pride but listen, and that's and the you're supposed honor to of have being it. a real rapper that man i'm writing this shit. and there's nothing now, wrong with having it, but that. wait but if you sit in the studio and you over here trying to come up with a little hook and, and somebody be like, well, won't you say it kind of like this? I don't see nothing wrong with that. But you sitting back and giving me a whole motherfucking verse and everything? No. no. Listen, and take pride in what you do as a rapper. Mm-hmm. But as a fucking pop star, if you want to maintain, if you ain't got it no more, you trying to maintain so, your spot. I don't see nothing wrong with you collaborating to keep your position. Mm-hmm. I like your music. I like your music. It ain't. Here's my because that shit. Hold on. Let me just say something real quick. Go ahead. We talking about a song where Lil Wayne was singing, not a, a rap song. Where the where it's a, a refer- pop song. Where a reference track at? Where somebody wrote Lil Wayne bars at? He ain't really singing a whole track. He only singing on that. Yeah, I'm single, but the rest he's huh? rapping. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm single. Yeah, play it. Listen. Either way, I don't care if you rap or you sing. If I like the music, I like the music because <clears throat> when I heard uh-huh. them reference reference tracks from um Quentin Miller yeah, or uh, if you reading this, right. if yep. you reading this, it's, it's too late. late. That shit sounded trash when Quentin Miller was rapping that I shit. It. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard that reference track from Yachty on Drake for on that uh her love shit. I thought Yachty sounded trash when he was rapping it. And that's my thing. Like, these niggas is fucking their hand up because you exposing yourself as the writer somehow. You do songs. I don't think Yachty really, did that. I don't right. think Yachty did that either. But I'm saying, Yachty don't even care who knows. Yachty, uh, here's my he don't confliction. Even care if he, he not even a ghost writer. He's a writer, flat out. He sends songs to people. We know that about Yachty. But niggas like the Daylight nigga. Um, niggas like the Quentin Miller nigga and these niggas that's all right. As soon as these niggas put this song out, and you know, we're gonna leak the reference track. Whoever put it out, put it Fuck out. Fuck up your bread and Fuck butter up because everything. Now, you don't got it to go gonna mainstream. Work. Somebody gonna still work with Drake. Ain't nobody gonna work with you no more because you, you gonna leak me. You niggas is I ain't saying up. this. The niggas that's against Drake write his own, write they own rap, so they don't need you. See, here's my confliction <laughs> <laughs> with mm. hip hop. It's like a, a sin to have a ghostwriter in R and B. Most R and B singers don't write their own music, bruh. Thanks. Pop, you don't have to write your own music. You just have to sound a certain way. You have to look a certain. I way. am so hurt how Carrie Hilson ruined her career by dissing Beyonce. She didn't think the Beehive mm. was that strong. It's Damn. like poking a real Beehive. You you thought you was good until that motherfucker swarmed you. Then it's like, damn, that was. Dumb. And I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> she probably de- de- deprived us <laughs> of some good prime well, Beyonce wrote, music because you know, you know what I'm saying. She wrote some fire shit. That's bro. what I'm saying. That was my girl. But so has Drake, and that's my problem. Like everybody's so oh fuck that nigga Drake because he got a ghostwriter. It's like, but what about the shit that he goes wrote? But you yeah, still have to prove yeah. yourself. 
You know what I'm saying? And you that's got, what you I'm got saying. to prove like, your pin game. He, like he did. Shit, he, pop, he pop. proved his pin game so good. Niggas was like, "Can you write me a song?" And he was like, "Sure." Okay. He right. done wrote. Here, this falling apart. Put it together for me, Drake. Drake uh then wrote hella song and he didn't wrote smashes though. Smash he didn't wrote for uh Mary J. Black. Like I'm Alicia not questioning Keys. that nigga's yeah. pen, bro. Yeah, how can you get busy? A lot of his ghost writing stuff was some type of songs. You know. No. That's when he was but like, what about what the Kanye? nice guy, the nice guy <laughs> Drake. What about and when he wrote for that Kanye album? Father stretched his hands and all that. That's when he used to be the nice guy, Drake, so he could write stuff like that. But I don't understand how Life of Pablo, that's what it was. Yeah. Drake he, the he artist wrote half that the album. Drake the artist is but a it's character. Okay for Kanye to have a ghostwriter. Yes, a character. Dude is a character anyway. He's not so Drake that's ain't what I'm really saying. Drake. Aubrey Graham became in the game as an actor. You only knew it was gonna take him so long before he was able to imitate rappers like we love. Just like how never mind. I ain't even gonna go there. What? Sure. It's too late. Come on. All right, man. What I got is light the other blunt. Nah, no, 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 man. Yeah, we're going to say that for after. Since it's Pride Month. <laughs> oh, man, where is this going? I'm confused. Oh, this is what I'm going to say. Just like I said how you could peep Tupac's mannerisms. <laughs> Bro, I was just about to say that, though. Like, hold on. It's videos where you can see Drake's mannerisms in the way he talked that let you know the person that we get entertained by every day ain't not Aubrey Graham. Yeah, he take that off at night like Scrooge's arms. He, hey, you fuck You feel me? Fuck, man. Shout out Scrooge, he, man. He's really you fucking with me? Gym. You fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he take that shit off. That shit is... Yeah, stop playing. Damn. <laughs> hey, you got a problem, dude, man. for his lighter like five times. All night. Uh, yeah. But yeah, um, the shit is an act anyway, so I'm not mad at him getting people to help him keep up the act. Do y'all remember Come when on, Drake man. couldn't shoot music videos because he didn't know what to do with his hands while he was rapping? He ain't, when he performed, he used to do that. Yeah, like, what, what are you doing? Bro, put your fucking hands down. Especially when he used to stretch his words out, sing. I used to hate when he was saying <laughs> sideways and always keep looking back and shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was when he was that rapping was, with Rick Ross had me. Yeah. 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 That was before he had a beard. Yeah, he didn't have a beard or none of that shit. He wasn't he, BPL, I, he was awkward in front fun. of the camera. Listen, it took a while for him to, to develop the character. Hey, nah, fuck he got that. it down packed now, though, bro. That was still Jimmy on camera. And I'm not I'm mad at now, him. Now he got the act. That's what I'm saying. Sure. I'm not mad at him. He's he, did it. he did his thing. Yeah. Want away from and Michael, man? nigga, beat it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We let that nigga act his way into being the bit. And that's what. And that's why he's take he's Greatest taking two now losses to two rappers and uh, no blemishes. As soon as he retired from rap, watch how many Academy Awards he win for Man. playing Drake. <laughs> hey, shut up. That would be this hilarious. This nigga is a happened. hip hop that soap. Be, be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to Aubrey, man. I fucks with you. Mm -hmm. He's not like us. <laughs> Shout Drake. out to K-Dot. I heard you like him young. 